Well, hi there, friends. Welcome to this week's edition of Forever Friends, where every week we introduce to you a new adoptable dog right here in the Phoenix Valley, waiting so patiently for their forever home. And I'm so excited because this week we have a new shelter in the house. Mm -hmm. I'd like to introduce to you Tina from HEART. And first, tell me what HEART stands for. All right, HEART is Humane Animal Rescue Trapping Team. It's amazing. And so I had heard about them through a friend who had lost her dog. And then um, you probably remember Jeremy Paddock from Paddock's Paws who came in and talked to us a little bit about dog training and human training. Um, he works very closely with them and the animals that they bring in as well. Yes, yes we love But him. today we are here particularly to talk about this sweet boy. This is Desi and Desi yes. has quite the story. Um, go ahead and tell us yeah, he how does. he came to be. So um, whenever anyone sees a dog and they, they want to get it assistance, they fill out a help request form on our website and we received one for him that stated he was on the Beeline Highway and he was was running from mile mark marker 190 to 196 back and forth right so um, we rushed out there set a trap and luckily he was hungry yeah so yeah. he went right in and they were able to bring him back to the shelter where we let him decompress and kind of yeah. get an o overall check on his health and see where he was at he was very young when we brought him in yeah. the vet put him at about 10 months okay so okay. he's just a little over a year now okay. about so 45 about pounds October that yep. he came to see you guys okay yep. so he's been there a little bit he has yeah. he has and so these breeds they don't they don't do well when they stay in the shelter yeah. environment too yeah. long. So we yeah. want to get him his forever home as exactly. quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, and it's amazing that he was out there on that highway mm -hmm. and that he survived for as long as he did. You said at least a month, yes. right? Yes, yes, so. because they had seen him since oh August. And it was hot and, you know, w finding water is tough for them. And But so he on made it. on top of everything, mm -hmm. he's a survivor. He is a survivor. He is a survivor. <laughs> and... Speaking of hungry, he's definitely treat motivated. Yes. We've learned that, but he's got great manners. You know, he, he knows does. how to sit, mm -hmm. do everything, and he's patient. He's very patient. He rode in the car like a champ. I mean, and in the, the back elevator, seat. yeah, like elevator. A champ. We had no problems <laughs> yeah. there. He doesn't seem to have a lot of apprehension. No, about he's really friendly with everyone. Yeah, he just so loves people. Does good and, with other dogs mm -hmm. and yeah. everything. Okay, mm -hmm. you think he'd do great with kids? Uh, he would probably do really great with kids. Yeah. Uh, we don't know about cats because okay. we don't we don't yeah. have any, yeah. but. Um, you so know, that's something you want to check yeah, that out first. first for but, sure. but overall, just about everyone he meets, he loves. A good family mm -hmm. dog. Yeah. He loves toys. He He's loves got his toys. little koala he's doing so well with, right? You're just a snuggle bug and a sweet, handsome man. <laughs> so if they wanted to adopt Desi or if they're interested in mm -hmm. Desi, you have an application process we on sure your website. Do. Okay. Yep. You would go to our website, which is azheart.org. Okay. You would click on our application link, fill it out, and then our adoption coordinator would reach out, okay. schedule meet and greet. Um, and we also have our shelters now open. Yes. So, Tell me about this grand yes, opening. This yes. just happened. This is super exciting. Yes, Tell it's me amazing. about the grand opening. So we opened up on Saturday, first time ever for us. We are going to allow people to come into the shelter okay. on Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 4. Wonderful. To look at, look at our dogs and, and see if we can get them adopted. It's just going to make things easier with people's work schedules mm -hmm. and everything like that. And where are you guys located? We are located at uh, 9235 North 13th, 13th Avenue. Avenue. We're okay. right off of Hatcher and Sunny Slope. Okay. So you're North... North Valley yeah, yeah. area. Mm -hmm. Okay, North Valley area yep. up there, and they can come in. And how many dogs do you have? Right now, we have a 31. 31 mm -hmm. dogs. Just That's a lot for us, for yes. Forever homes, and yep. this is going to be a great opportunity for them to get oh a my lot gosh, yes. more visibility. And we have we have so many to choose from, like yeah. just different breeds, sizes, you name it. And we were competing on Pet Finder. We're competing yeah. with thousands of dogs, and so yeah. this just allows people to come in. They like something tangible, something yes. they can touch and see. Exactly. So. It makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. It really does. And they it bond. does. They bond, yeah. I mean, and if you come meet Desi, you you're going to bond. bond. <laughs> you are going to bond. You the are. first thing I said to them is, why can't he weigh less than 25 pounds? Right. <laughs> I can have them, have them in my condo. My HOA says no, but my cricket probably would say no, too. Yes, probably. Actually, I think they'd love each other. I really do, because he's just such a good boy. I mean, he really is. Have you Look seen this. this this whole time? Absolutely beautiful with his beautiful red eyes. Yes, I don't know that I've seen eyes that color no. before. So yeah, he's just a sweet he's boy. He's fantastic. And, and he's so smart. Like, he could probably do agility. He yes. learns so quickly. He's just an all-around Did he work dog. with Jeremy? Uh, he hasn't because he, 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 he doesn't need he doesn't, to. He doesn't no, have he any doesn't bad habits. Yeah. Jeremy's more of a human trainer than right? a dog trainer. And, I, yeah. <laughs> he, and he trained us. Yes, so. yes, he's trained me as well. Right? So shout out to Jeremy. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit too about if someone were to lose their dog, they can oh. contact you, right? Yes. And, and you will help them find their dog. And yep. it sounds like you have great success. We we have really this. good success. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what you would do is you would go to our website okay. and fill out what's called a help request. Yeah. That gets routed to the proper uh, team lead in that area. So yeah. wherever you are, we have it's broken up into little segments. And um, 
The first thing we do is a consult, find out what's going on, what was the situation, and then we get our group together. Our it's all volunteers, yeah. so they get together, they make flyers, they hang the flyers. Flyers are the number one thing that will bring your dog home. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So many things that you might not know should a bunch of fireworks go off and your dog gets out of the backyard mm -hmm. or you leave the gate open or something unfortunate right. like a car accident mm -hmm. like we were talking about earlier. Um, but, it, you know, it's so great to have a resource like yeah. that because... Yeah. I hadn't heard of you guys, and once I did, I mean, that was immediate. Like, you guys have been saved. I, I know that if that ever happens to yeah. me, I know I can call Hart, and they're gonna do everything in their power to help me find my pop. Yeah, and we so, do. We um, it, Our volunteers, they take it very personal, yeah. and they dedicate hours to try to yeah. find these dogs. We do field searches. We, yeah. I mean, you name it, we get out there and we do it. And um, we And they can check out passionate. Instagram if yeah, you wanna get an idea of how this all goes mm -hmm. and everything. Social media is a great way. Yeah. Um, I definitely got sucked down the rabbit hole watching you <laughs> no, guys' right? stuff. So um, <laughs> you need to do. feel good, that's the place to go. And, you know, but right now, the feel good story is gonna be Desi. We're yes. gonna find him that forever home. <laughs> but in order to do that, we're gonna need your help. So please, share Desi's story. Please like, do all of that, tell all your friends and family, and of course, let everybody know that Heart Shelter is now open. Yes. Um, come visit them this weekend, um, and come visit Desi, because Desi would love to go home with you. So thank you so oh, much for being you. with us today, and we'll definitely have you back in again. Perfect. And until next time, thank you guys for joining us.